hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you to all my returning subscribers thank you for viewing my videos for your support love share i see all and i am very grateful if you are new here please consider subscribing and also please give this video a thumbs up so that it will get viral and so many other people will benefit from the information and it will help my channel tell you is that if you are coming here as a student coming here as um a dependent to a student or as a new immigrant or whatever it is that is the case if you are not ready to do any job that will put food in your table you might consider just staying back in your home country why am i saying this i know that some people that are coming here through the student route or even through some other routes are already established professionals in what they do back home in their country and they are relocating you are coming here to the united kingdom through the student route you might not get jobs in your profession or let's say you get job in your profession you are going to start from the bottom yes from top to bottom you are going to get down and do the most menial jobs even those things that you used to direct other people to do back home maybe a manager a director or whatever it is that you are you are not just going to come here and jump over people that are already here and start with the biggest true even if you are qualified for this role, you have the experience, you have everything, they cannot trust you enough to give you these very sensitive and big roles. You need to prove yourself. They need to see you do things with the smaller um, sector. Then they can be able to trust you with the bigger sector. So just bring down your expectation. Don't be too like, you know, don't expect too much so that you will not get frustrated when you are not getting the kind of response that you want. You might come for an interview, they say, yes, you did so well. You are qualified for this role, but we will not give you this role. Please start with this. Please just start with whatever that can put food to your table. And even apart from jobs in your profession, you might have to do jobs that, you know, we look at it as a menial job. We look at it as jobs for the less privileged or something like that. You might have to do those type of job here in United Kingdom or even in other Western countries before you are able to settle down because you need these funds. You need the money coming from these uh, these uh, jobs that you look down on for you to be able to cater for your immediate needs. That being said, the second one, DIY. If you are not ready to do it yourself, you are not ready to DIY so many things in your home, then there's no need coming. There are people that all their life, they take their clothes to the dry cleaners, they have cook that come in to cook. They have cleaners that clean the house. People make their hair, their nails and everything. Coming here to the United Kingdom, you cannot be able to afford those people. Even babysitting, um, what is it called? Yes, there are things that will help make life more easier for you like the washing machine, the dishwasher, uh, the vacuum cleaners and so on. But even at that, you have to do things yourself. Apart from that, when you buy things, when you need to one or two repairs in the house, like electrical repairs, you buy some furnitures, you need to do some carpentry work, you need to do some, you just like everything, like everything. So you have to be open-minded, you have to be ready to learn, you have to be ready to do a lot of things yourself because you cannot afford these services. It's not as if these services are not available, they are available. But as a new immigrant and someone that is on a budget you and on a minimum wage income, you cannot be able to afford these services. The third one is what? Research and information. If you are not ready to research, like I mean when I mean research, I mean research, find out information, then you will just be in the water and you will just be floating like this. You will not know what is happening. You will not even know when things are done. They say minimum wage have increased. You don't know. They say tasks have been reduced. Tasks have increased. You are supposed to get this benefit. You are not supposed to get this benefit. You will not know anything because it's not like where you are coming from. I don't know where, but let me say where I'm coming from. Like information news come and meet you. You'll be on your own now. Somebody will come to you and download you all the things that happen. That this person is now the new president. Uh, that they say this one happened there. That this one happened there. You come to Facebook and you see people giving free uh, free information. And Instagram everywhere they are giving information. But this one you might not get this information as circulating as you want to. The who has time to even listen to news? Even if you say let you listen to news, and even if you listen to the kind news. Are you sure you even be able to understand their intonation? So you have to research, you have to be friends with the 
UK government website, another authorized website that they channel out information for people living here in the United Kingdom for you to be able to know, keep up with everything that is happening and keep up with what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Know when changes are made, know when to readjust, know when to assess some certain things. So you have to be... And the next on our list is self-discipline. Yes, you have to have self-discipline. Like where I'm coming from, sometimes when they say eh, that they raped somebody, somebody will ask, what was she wearing? Was she naked? Was she this? What I want to tell you is that if you come here in United Kingdom and even in most Western countries, you will see naked people. So if somebody being naked is an excuse for you to rape somebody, that means you'll be raping people every day. So people will be naked, naked to your face. People will come to your face and do some things that you feel that you're not supposed to see. If it's supposed to turn you on, it will turn you on. So, and also on that age, um, having any relationship with on that age, like last year, a Nigerian man went to jail because he was chatting. He's chatting you know, with a 12 year old, that be a 13 year old. And somehow the mother of the child got to know about it and took the phone and chatted the guy and hook, they got, they hooked up the guy with the police and everything, went to court and he was sentenced to some years imprisonment. The same thing also happened recently with an Indian guy. So my dear, so many of the girls that you will see that in your eyes, maybe you'll be tagging them 18, uh, 19, 17, they are 12, they are 13, they are overgrown, over matured. And they are, they are even ready to, when you start um, all those discussions with them, they will even be ready to have such discussion with you because emotionally and mentally, they are also matured more than their age. But legally, it is a crime. And if you are caught, you will be sent to jail. So you have to caution yourself. And women can be very, very funny here. Yes, you might just even actually have a discussion with a full grown adult that you feel is an adult. And the, uh, you people are in a relationship or whatever it is that you think that you people are doing. Any day the person says no and you continue with the process and the person has had to report you or anything raped is rape whenever the person say no no is no and yes is yes so you have to have serious self-discipline if you are among those people that used to stay in uh, and used to just say all those nonsense that a woman the way a woman is dressed is calling people to rape the person and all those things please stay back in your home country don't bother coming to united kingdom or even any western country because without your mentality you land yourself in prison and at the end of the day, why are you, why will you come here when you will be in prison? Even self-discipline with the use of drugs, the use of alcohol, the use of, because all these things, will, they will bring it to your day, smoke, they drink, they do all sorts. So it takes you to be self-disciplined, to be able to avoid so many troubles that will come with all those things. Because some of them are already drug addicts, they are already in rehabilitation. Even if they take those drugs and they commit crime or they do one or two things when they come to court they will just say this person is not mentally stable to be passed judgment on and they will be left to go to mental home they'll just take them to rehab or mental home but you that is an immigrant my dear nobody is going to um judge your case like that your own case will be different and it will land you to where you will not understand then the next one i will say is self-motivation if you are not self-motivated here get up do what you're supposed to do my dear, nobody is here to motivate you. There is no motivational speaker here. You Some days you wake up, you are not ready to even get up. As in even being lazy here in United Kingdom is very, very easy. Yes, because you have your wifey, you have 24 hours light, water is there, gas, food, whatever it is. So you can actually stay in the house for a complete one week without going out. And you don't even need to go out. As far as you have bought the groceries that you need, for yourself in the house and so if you're not doing a remit job that is any new money in the house how will you survive just staying in the house because you have everything you you have unlimited access to the internet you want to stay in instagram for money tonight it's you that know you want to stay in tiktok do facebook do everything watch youtube do you can actually do all those things but what impact do they have in your life your career what do they impact your life so you have to be self-motivated you have to be proactive you have to know what you want Another thing is, if you're a social butterfly, like you don't enjoy your own company, you always like people around you and all that. My dear, your mental health might be affected if you come to United Kingdom or if you come. If you are people like us that enjoy staying alone, like I enjoy my company, I like myself, by myself, with myself. 
yes i can spend the time that i cannot imagine with myself and i'm not bored like i have a lot of things to do i have a lot of things to think about i have a lot of i can even start writing a business plan yes i'm, a, I'm at home i'm not doing anything i'll start writing a business plan start doing one thing or the other start researching one topic or the other start reading one article or the other i'm never bored so boy boy if you are those kind of people that need company you need people around you for you to feel loved for you to feel happy for you to feel uh you know somehow my dear abroad might not be for you because getting all those things everybody is busy with life people are dealing with whatever that is dealing with them and they might not have time to catch up with you let if friends catch up once in a while they make house time conscious efforts plan about it everybody will shift their schedule for them to be able to fit to that outing or whatever it is that they want to do so everybody cannot keep doing that every day just because you want people around you anyway so with this few points of mine i hope i've been able to let you into the insights of living here in united kingdom and what it entails please consider subscribing if you are still watching up to this moment i want to thank you especially and i want to tell you that god will bless you see you in my